Good morning, good morning, and a happy good morning to you. Welcome to the Royalty Talk Tuesday. As always, it is an honor to share the Word of God with you over, over a lovely cup of tea. And today, it is going to be exciting. We are going to have some fun with the Word of God. As anything else, my name is Portia Basham, founder of the Royalty Ladies, and I am excited about you and I joining together to chat over what God says in His Word. Let's get started and let's pour ourselves a lovely cup of tea today. So today we are going to talk about forgiveness, a willingness to forgive. That's what we're going to talk about today. You know, in Ephesians 4.32, the Word of God says, Be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. To forgive others is difficult. Being the imperfect human beings that we are, we are quick to anger, we are quick to blame each other, slow to forgive, and even slower to forget. No matter how difficult the issue is, God's way should be our way. If He says to forgive, we must forgive. God's commandments are not intended to be customized, and we tend to do that. God's word is not a menu from which we could do a la carte and choose what we want according to how we feel or we figure somebody else deserves. No. God's holy word is a book that must be taken to its entirety. We don't pick and choose what we want to obey. We need to take God's word seriously. You know, in Matthew 18, 21 to 35, that's where we get the model prayer. The word of God says in the model prayer that, and he forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Just imagine that. The Lord will forgive your sins on the notion that you will forgive those who've wrongly done things to you. Those who's wrongly spoke about you, those who've wrongly used you, those who've wrongly um, uh, misused you. He said, forgive them. I will forgive your sins as you forgive others. I will forgive your debt as you forgive your debtors. I remember a story in the Bible where the, the gentleman, I'll call him gentleman, but somebody owed him and he figured he would have gone. No, I take it back. I remember the story. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He owed the king and he said to the king, I can't afford to pay you. So the king said, okay, I'll forgive your debt. You go ahead. I will forgive your debt. That same gentleman that the king forgave his debt went outside and saw another guy who owed him far less than what he owed that the king. And he chastised that man so bad for the five dollars that he owed him. When the king heard that, the king called the gentleman back. Let's call him John. The king called John back and said, John, I forgave you of your debt, but you couldn't turn around and do the same to someone who really and truly owed you less. And for that, I'm going to imprison you. The moral of the story is simple. You ask God to forgive you of all your sins. I mean, we do something wrong. We're quick to run to God and say, Father, oh Lord, have mercy, forgive me. And I will tell you something. Your sins and the things you ask the Lord to, to forgive you for is way, 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 way less than what we need to forgive others for. Don't hold bitterness in your heart. Whilst the other person is enjoying life, you there being all bitter over something that maybe you can't even remember clearly what happened anyway. Why let that person go up to heaven with a clear conscience and you go into hell in a handbasket because you refuse to forgive somebody? 
Oh, don't take me wrong. I understand. We all have been through some stuff. Some stuff that on the, in, in the normal thinking, you want to just wreck somebody. But vengeance is he, says the Lord. The Lord knows how to get back at the people who has wronged you way better than you could get back to them. Just give it to God. Whatever that's hurting you, whatever that so brings you down um, um, from depression, your hurt, your pain, give it to God. Let him embrace you. Let him love you. Let him give you a new heart. A new heart to love. A new heart to worship him. Oh, I've been wrong. Don't think I haven't been wrong, but I stand on the word of God and the word of God is come unto me and I'll give you rest. He promised he'd renew my mind. He promised he will give me joy for my ashes, beauty for my ashes. That's what the word said. He'll give me beauty for my ashes. I thank God every day that if it wasn't for the love of God in my heart, <laughs> I don't know where I'd be, and I don't know who I'd taken down. You see me looking good. You see me looking put together. That's not just me. That's the mighty work of God. Keeping me sane. Letting me know that if I just take one day at a time and do my best, my God is going to run with the rest. So today, if there's any unforgiveness in your heart give it to God forgive the person let it go let it go is there anybody there that haven't given their life to Christ Romans 10 says if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God rose him from the dead you will be saved so let's take this moment Let's just give our life to Christ. Ask God to forgive us. Ask God to um, tell God that we repent of our sins. Dear Lord, we know that you are the only way to salvation and to heaven. And we believe you are the Son of God, Jesus. And we want you in our life. We repent of our sins. Sins known and unknown. Thoughts that do not line up with your word. We forgive. Forgive us of those thoughts, God. Have mercy on us. In Jesus' name, amen. Forgive somebody. Whoever that's done you wrong, forgive them. Let God fight your battle. Put your energy on something else. Put your energy on doing your purpose. Put your energy on doing what thus says the Lord. Don't put your energy in places that doesn't profit you. And unforgiveness does not profit you. So today, you be blessed of the Lord. God is good. Let's um, decree and declare some blessings on your life today. We decree and declare that we are forgiven. We decree and declare that we are above. We decree and declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We decree and declare that we are blessed. We are blessed going out, blessed coming in. We decree and declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ, our, our Savior. We thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus. Because you said in your word, where you see the blood, the deaf angel shall pass far from it. So we cover our home under the blood, every family member under the blood, every friend, uh, every friend under the blood, even those who do not know you. Father, we cover them under the blood so that way they know your greatness. Touch the hearts of those who know you not, my God. We just give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor because it's rightfully due unto your name. You'll be blessed today. Mm. Share the word of God with somebody. Tell, some, tell your friends about Royalty Ladies and the Royal Talk Tuesday. Meet us every Tuesday, 8.30, on Facebook.
You be blessed and may God be with you.